Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. Following the Battle of New York in 2012, Adrian Toomes and his salvage company are contracted to clean up the city. But their operation is taken over by the Department of Damage Control, DODC, a partnership between Tony Stark and the U.S. government. Department of Damage Control will oversee the collection. Enraged at being driven out of business, Toomes persuades his employees to keep the Chituari technology they have already scavenged and use it to create and sell advanced weapons, including a flying vulture suit. Tombs uses to steal Chitauri power cells. Eight years later, Peter Parker is drafted into the Avengers by Stark to help with an internal dispute in Germany. What does that mean that I'm an Avenger? No. But resumes his studies at the Midtown School of Science and Technology when Stark tells him he is not yet ready to become a full Avenger. Parker quits his school's academic decathlon team to spend more time focusing on his crime-fighting activities as Spider-Man. His best friend Ned eventually discovers his secret identity. Parker comes across Tomb's associates Jackson Bryce, Shocker, and Herman Schultz, selling weapons to local criminal Aaron Davis. Parker saves Davis before being caught by Tombs in the, in the vulture suit and dropped in a lake nearly drowning after becoming tangled in a parachute built into his suit. He is rescued by Stark, who is monitoring the Spider-Man suit he gave Parker and warns him against further involvement with the criminals. Toomes accidentally kills Bryce with one of their weapons and Shelters becomes the new shocker. Parker and Ned steady a weapon Bryce left behind, removing its power core. When a tracking device on Schultz leads to Maryland, Parker rejoins the Decathlon team and accompanies them to Washington DC for their national tournament. Ned and Parker disable the tracker, Stark implanted into the Spider-Man suit, and unlock its advanced features. Parker tries to stop Toomes from stealing weapons from a DODC truck but is trapped inside causing him to miss the Decathlon tournament. Told you it was worth it. Okay, go, go, go. We can hit like five more places tonight. What's up, guys? You forget your pin number? Oh, Hulk. Good to finally meet you guys. So how do jerks like you get tech like this? All right, guys, let's wrap this up. It's cool. When he discovers that the power core is an unstable Chitauri grenade, he races to the Washington Monument where the core is activated and explodes trapping Ned and their friends in an, an elevator. Parker saves them, including his classmate, and crash Liz. Days later, in New York City, aboard the Staten Island ferry, Parker captures Tom's new buyer, Mark Gargan, but Tom escapes and a malfunctioning weapon tears the ferry in half. Stark helps Parker save the passengers and confiscates his suit as punishment for his recklessness. Parker returns to his high school life and asks Liz to go to the homecoming dance with him. On the night of the dance, he discovers that Tombs is Liz's father. Deducing Parker's secret identity, Tombs threatens him. Parker realizes Tombs is planning to hijack a DODC play transporting weapons from Avengers Tower to the team's new headquarters in upstate New York. You now I'm just curious when the next real mission is going to be. He leaves the dance, dons his old homemade Spider-Man suit and races to Toon's lair. Though he is ambushed outside by Schultz, he defeats him with Ned's help. Inside Toon's attacks Parker destroying the building's support columns and leaves Parker to die. Trapped in the rubble of the collapsed building, Parker escapes and intercepts the plane, steering it to crash on the beach at Coney Island. He and the Tombs continue fighting, ending with Parker saving Tombs' life after the damaged vulture suit explodes. Parker leaves Tombs for the police along with the plane's cargo. After her father's arrest, Liz moves away. Parker declines.
an invitation from Stark to join the Avengers full time and Stark proposes to Pepper Potts. Stark also returns the Spider-Man suit to Parker who puts it on just as his aunt May walks in. Spider-Man. In a mid credit scene, incarcerated Gargan approaches Tombs in prison, saying he has heard that the latter knows Spider-Man's real identity. So Tombs denies this, 